Hello, welcome to GOT. Today we're going to do something different. Today we're actually going to take two phones, two popular photo, and they both have desktop models where you can actually project your screen onto a monitor and use it like a regular PC or laptop. Let's get to it. So what I've done is I went ahead and hooked both of them up to a portable monitor. If you look here, I got the Z Fold 6. It's hooked up to an actual 2K monitor, so it's a little bit better clarity. However, in order to hook up to this 2K monitor, I had to hook it up to a power source because typically these phones will power these monitors themselves, but because this is 2K, I need an external source. And what I did was I hooked this up to a USB hub that also has a HDMI port in it so that I can connect it through HDMI and then I have the external power source. And over here, I have a 1080p monitor which will connect directly up to my phone and it will be powered by the phone. And when you hook them both up, you can see here, they both have a mouse pad built in. You just have to get the aspect ratio here by turning this. And now I've got the mouse pad and it's working just fine here. And then over here, you can see the mouse. It doesn't appear until you actually touch, which is kind of odd. We get it difficult to see sometimes, but you can see right there, there's the mouse right here in the darker purple. They both work fine when plugged in if you want to just use the phone themselves as a mouse pad. Let's just open up YouTube here. And if you want to search for something, you go over here and you hit the search and you would just type in. And as you can see here, you got a keyboard right here on the display. And let's go ahead and make a larger keyboard, huh? There you go. And you get a keyboard right here on the display and you can type in your search if that's what you want to do. So now you go over here on Samsung and I'm maneuvering the mouse around and we'll open up YouTube here. Got a full screen and let's go ahead and do a search up here and do search and there we go there's the space bar and there you go and i'm in the space bar i'm in the search bar but i don't have a key or a search let's close that up here so you got to go down here to where it has a keyboard you click on that and then you get a keyboard on here problem is on this you don't get a full-size keyboard it's for some reason small on here you could check this and you get a floating one who wants a floater i don't want a floater and let's go back to a split key if you want. You got two sides, which doesn't make any sense either. So I'm not quite sure why Samsung's not giving you a better option on a keyboard. But that is how you would enter in your search. And take a quick second and thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Show some appreciation for me by smashing that like button down below. It does help out the channel and helps me put out more content like this. Again, thank you. And back to the video. Now, as you can see, they both maneuver fine with the mouse, but you can also use an, an external mouse such as this. We've got one for each and you can maneuver that way, which sometimes for most people and myself, it's a lot easier. So you go back over here to the Honor Magic V3. Let's do that again. Let's open up YouTube. Here we go. Let's go to something like my channel here and let's just open up one of my videos. Matching that yeah. of the iPhone. As you can see here, they're pretty much the same. And when you look at them from the front, they look pretty much the same. So now time. Now that's pretty nice. You can hear how clear it was. That's coming from the speakers of the phone, actually. You connect, you, you can use the speakers on the monitors themselves, but they're very tinny, not that great. You get better sound because you have stereo sound out of the phones. Now we'll do the same thing over here on the Samsung. We'll go ahead and open up a video. And I'm going to open up one of mine. Let's go here and go to my channel here. And let's go ahead and open up here. the same video. Pretty audience. much the same. And when you look at them from the front, they look pretty much the same. So now times are changing. We're now Apple is going to be copying. So you can see there, they both will do the same full screen video. And the audio comes through the phones themselves. And I don't know if you noticed it or not. You get a tinnier audio out of the Samsung versus a little more bass and clarity out of the Magic. So the Honor Magic actually beats the Z Fold 6 when it comes to the audio. So now let's go ahead and see what they both do on multitasking. So you can take these windows, start here with the Samsung, and you can go ahead and shrink it down here by hitting the shrink button here in YouTube. There we go. And you've got a smaller app. Can you just drag it over here? You can just drag the whole app there. And then if you want to open up a second one, you go here to the home page and let's just open up um, the calendar. Open up the calendar here. And you can see it starts out small, but you can go ahead and just drag it over here and now you've got side-by-side -side apps 
there you go. So you got two side-by-side -side apps, which is really nice, and you can actually resize them by going here to the middle, grabbing this bar, and that resizes that one. So there you go, that's how that functions on the Samsung. Go over here to the Magic, and we can do something similar here. Let's go ahead and shrink down the screen here, and I cannot drag it and push it to the side, can I? No, it'll just get rid of that video. So let's go ahead and take and shrink the size of this video. Now, for some reason, the mouse doesn't bring up the toolbar from the top, so you can do this, but it does it on the pad, so that's kind of interesting. Maybe it's something I just need to figure out later. So we go back here, and let's go ahead and open up a second app, and I'll open up the calendar here on this one, too. And again, it opens up as a floating window, and you can just drag it to the side, and this kind of works like you do with Windows or even the Mac. PC, when you snap to one side, it gives you an option of what other apps you want to open up. So that's that's pretty nifty. And then, of course, you can resize them the same as you can on the Samsung. So let's go ahead and open up a third app. Let's go here and what I want to open up. Let's go ahead and open up Google Drive. And you can see here it opens up and now it's a floater app. And over here on the Samsung, let's go ahead and just open up Google Drive here. And you can see it's a floater window as well. So they both have the flow to windows opportunity. You can drag it to the side and it'll snap in place of the other one. And look, you got two apps to choose from, which one you want on the other side, and you just click on it here. And then over here on the on our magic, we do the similar thing, snap it to the side, and you've got two to choose from. So you see it keeps the other apps in the background in place, even though you place another app over which is really nice, and you go ahead and close it up. And I'm sure that you can open up multiple more apps if you want to, but for this demonstration, I'm not going to do that. We'll go ahead and close out the apps. So as you can see here, they both work very similar as far as simulating a desktop. Now, they both don't do full-on desktop features or certain things you can't do, but on these, they work really nice. Now, on both of these, they keep apps that you have open in the background open, and you can see them down here on the taskbar such as right here on the Magic V3. I have this app called PowerDirect. Open it up, and over here on the Dex with Samsung, I can do the same thing. Let's go ahead and go full screen on this. And this is really nice because I can actually edit videos right on these devices here. And let's open it up here on Samsung. So you can see here, I can actually power through and edit videos on both of these, which is really nice. And they work really well. It's just not as quick as a full-on desktop but they both work very well, and I can edit on them better than I can actually on the phones themselves. So as you can see, both of these work really well when it comes to using them as a desktop, and they're both very similar and compatible. It used to be Dex was the only thing out there, but not anymore. Honor Magic has a Magic desktop that works really well. If you're into this, I don't do a whole lot of using my phones as a desktop, although I will be starting to do a little more because I'm going to do a little more travel and take this mobile monitor with me. And I believe that'll make me a lot more productive than I'm used to. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you real quickly, which is a really nice feature that you get here with the Honor Magic desktop. You can do what's called screen recording real simple. There's a button right here. You press it. And you have screen recording right there. You can hit the screen recording and immediately it starts recording your screen. Not only does it re record your screen, but it also records the audio. Hello, welcome to GOT. Today we're just going to talk a little bit about the upcoming Pixel 10 Pro. So as you can see there, I'll stop this. So you can see it recorded it really easy. Now I'll go ahead and open up my gallery. And you can see that it's right there. And let's go to full screen. And there's my screen recording right there. Hello, welcome to GOT. Today we're just going to talk a little bit about the upcoming Pixel 10 Pro. And you can see there it recorded the audio as well. So that's a really nice feature. And I just learned that. So I'm going to start using that as well when I need to do some screen recording. Because that's actually capturing the entire aspect ratio that I can't get on my phone when I record it. So we're over here on the Samsung, you can actually click on screen capture, which will just take a picture of your screen. Now to do the video, you have to full on go into settings somewhere because you don't have the drop down menu here. Maybe you could do it here on the phone itself. Go in and yeah, go into screen capture, screen record right there and start recording. And I'm not sure if it's recording that screen or this screen. I guess we're gonna find out here live on my video. Let's hit stop and let's go ahead and see if we can find that recording here in the gallery. And there it is. And it looks like it recorded the phone. So maybe there's a way to do it, get to record the full screen. I don't know, but that's a really cool feature you get with the Honor Magic. 
Now, I'm sure if you dig into this more, you can find a lot of features that are on the decks that aren't on the Magic and vice versa. But either one of them, for a good portable PC substitute when you're on the go, it works really well on either one of them. As you can see here, this, all you need is the screen and the phone, and you are good to go. And of course, if you want to add a mouse to it, and I didn't show you here, there's also a keyboard. You could I got this keyboard, I folded it up. You could connect this keyboard by Bluetooth to either one of your devices, and then you have a keyboard function, which is what I do, and it's very handy. Now, all these devices you can find in the description down below. They all go to my Amazon affiliate link. So if you purchase through that, it does give me some small commissions, which does help out the channel, and I appreciate that. It doesn't cost any more for you. It just helps out the channel. So now let me know down in the comments, are these devices that you use, and would you use a portable desktop mode on them to do work or even just entertainment on a larger screen and how did you find the way they work are they both similar did you like one better than the other let me know down in the comments now if you want to know more about this honor magic and get my full review check out this video here until next time god bless